find success, couldn't find a way in. Yeah. Some good moments for sure, but one of those other styles that plays away from how Team Liquid have found their success, which is early snowball, early fighting. So they don't want FlyQuest to play the long game, uh, and they've successfully been able to craft a strategy to ensure that that happens in a best of series. So definitely props to them for that. Uh, coaching staff as well as the players. And once again, FlyQuest. Engage, support. Again, of course, Draven's still gonna be there. So if you go for the Sivir, well, guess what? We can still Draven on three. Leona is fine in the Sivir. I mean, Alistair's better be done with the matchup. So I can expect this. I can understand this is a blind pick, which hedges a lot of bets, right? You're still able to play a solid Leona Draven lane. If it's not that one, you can go somewhere else. Instead, it's gonna look fine. It was mid laner, which should be fun. So FlyQuest need their bot lane. There's your Draven hover again. Zero recorded games on <laughs> oh, his career. Vayne! This is the old yeah, school the answer. answer. Yeah. She smashes the one-on-one. -on -one. Sivir has no gameplay around it. But if you can retain pressure early, Vayne can't kind of get through the minions easily. Yeah. But if you're ever left alone, she just kind of kill you with ult. This, this is exactly what it used to be, is this map. Yeah. So they don't want to play into Team Liquid's game that we've seen two games in a row. Team Liquid have played five uh, on five. They have grouped, they have snowballed. FlyQuest is saying, great, we're going to split the map now. Every champion here wants to split map. LeBlanc split push, Camille split push, even the Vayne yeah. split push. So see if they can actually accomplish that because Team Liquid have practiced over and over. Get that early game going, snowball off those neutral objectives, group up. FlyQuest need to win two straight. Took the first one. It was really convincing out of Philip. He did so well. Aphromo, I think, another standout there as well. And guess what? It's going to be about them again. Alistair and Camille, the best engaged tools this team has. I'm going to be really interested to see how Philip's going to be able to withstand uh, Gragas up in the top lane. It's one of the most annoying top laners to actually lane against as a melee champ. You know, you can uh, really kind of poke away at these champions who have so much sustain with the passive. Jungle and mid roaming up. Yeah, here it comes. Fighting gets the minion for six, but now comes the wave into the tower, and that's going to tank it up for him. So as the wave gets pushed down, Philip susses out. This is getting dangerous, and Centaur going to put a lot of damage down. You can pillar interrupt if you do the right timing. And he gets him back, so it forced the flash, but Bjergsen's here. He's got the ult. He's going to land almost everything. Ult comes across for Philip. Still goes down first blood again. Well done. Team Liquid coordinate the dive. They deny some of the minions to Kui trying to harass as they escape. Not currently available to help him close the gap, but Rift Herald does take a little while here. Eyeball is going to take another two pops to finish it. And here comes the first team fight, though. Sivirulti is on, on towards Philip, pretty squishy champion. Nothing oh, the available, Afro. is on. Buys a bit of time, but Philip doesn't get hit by the explosive cast. Oh. Afro goes down, though. Big by Blipple, Bjergsen chases in for a second. And already, Flying Quest are pushed out. It's a 2,000 gold lead before the Herald even died. Uh, before you get to your dragon killing yeah. work. <laughs> the thing is, I wouldn't be surprised if Santorin showed up to cast the last half of this game, because he's been everywhere hey, in this series. Hey, hey, <laughs> Let's call him up here. Uh, yeah, tough. seconds. I mean, they're gonna lose top lane Herald. Mid, mid lane tower is, is so close to dying. I don't even know that they need Herald, but even if they, if they want, oh, they yep. can actually drop this here, probably without it, and then even drop Herald elsewhere later. But TL are just running them over. They're not uh, giving Vayne any opportunity to make plays because you're just locked in your tower trying to wave there the whole time. Yeah, and the Sivir bouncing uh, boomerang there also interrupted the recall. Another annoying thing against playing against this champion. Yep. The second turn of the game. Minions wants to stay in golden if he can. 300 on his inventory. Good charm. Gets rid of Philip. Root as well. Good damage. Damage. TP's coming across. This is going to be the fight, but can they have the damage? Explosive cast builds him out. Philip now down to 1k. Sidestep Zenith Blade, but he still not have a way to live. There's one on the board. Sivir's going to get it. And Bjergsen the chase for a bit more. Charm should be back up soon. TL are just on fire in these last couple games here. Looking to make it three straight as they're on to the second oh, no, dragon. Oh, no, the pull was late. Or he, started uh, the head, or he started the body slam. I can't tell which. Either way, though, Whippo is over the wall all the same. And this means the dragon will burn down. Even Spell Shield blocks the damage out of Tukui. Literally heals the Sivir with his spells. This greatly reduces the chance that we get our YouTube highlight uh, montage <laughs> Bane game here. It is not going to be easy to play. Two dragons, 6,000 gold, only 17 minutes into the game. Uh, so what's the they're selling deals? all kinds of merch. They still got a, a Marvel uh, deal going on? I don't know. No? Okay. I don't think so. Let's check it out. Because <laughs> honestly, Team Liquid, 8,000 gold dragon arriving. They would yeah. love if they could get the team fight. Oh, here we go. No, Corja J takes a whole lot of damage. Vayne is in. That's a Zonia's. That is a cast backwards, staying alive. But the burn down comes in. One for nothing. Can they get the rest? The knock comes in for the Wukong. Do they find the rest of this fight? Though Philip wants to find a target. Locks down Trundle. Flash to safety. Pillar is on. Johnson barely alive with a charm. Lands and Bjergsen keeps it going. A three 
for nothing. And Tuku is going to fall. You have to believe out of the tower. Oh! The fight starts with a huge chunk pick out on Akora J. J. They blast. The dancing horse, the Baron, going to be acquired. Fly quest. If they run right now, they can TP. charge in. They're going to try. Akora's going to mark it again. Try. Sees Jose. No flash. Has an there. Needs to find his way in. Will not do so. Baron claimed. Core no stopwatch. Dunk comes in for Philip. They get a single kill, but will the rest even happen? It's a trade of one for one. They have an engage for Wukong, but his health bar is low, and he's going to drop now as well. After what's the front line, wants to zone, buys some space for Johnson, who's still getting attacked, and just the duo is dead. Now, Tukui, left alone, going to find him yet again. I am sorry, buddy, but you are burning, corrupting potion. Will claim everything they need. A double kill comes across. 15-2, back-to-back Bud Light aces. This game of the series. Congratulations, moving up and forward in the upper bracket. Team Liquid take the win. What a monster series from TL. Game one, you know, could have shaken other teams, but they used that for game two, three, and four.